Uh, just start off with your overall thoughts on the game. Overall, I thought we really used our experience from the first two games and um, did some things defensively that I thought were great. I thought the rebounding margin was exactly what I want it to be. Um, it, definitely clearing the glass is going to be a big key for us this year, especially having bigs inside um, that are productive and getting double-doubles. Uh, so that was huge. I also thought we defended the three-point line relatively well tonight as well, um, and that was something we wanted to take away, their transition baskets. Overall, Crystal just getting into that scoring mentality, and you know, I've really challenged her in the offseason to be more of a scorer for us. Um, as well as a facilitator, because it helps her passing if she can score. And then uh, I just thought it was a great, well-rounded team effort. Um, shoot, I just blanked on the question. Ah, you talked about, obviously, after those first two games, execution in those key situations. Definitely late. Uh, How would you think the team took those lessons from the first two games? Well, I think we did a better job of managing when we had a lead. Um, in the other games, we didn't really have a, much of a cushion of a lead. So I thought we played well with a lead and, and worked some of the clock management well. And then we had some execution, really good execution out of out of bounds play um, down the stretch, which I really liked. Um, overall, I thought we were really collective and on the same page. So not necessarily each play was great, but I thought we were really locked into being on the same page with each other. And this game obviously has a lot of emotion, first home game, the banners and all that. How do you think the team reacted and took all that energy and emotion early on? Well, we kind of addressed it at um, pregame shoot around today. And I just said, you know, in, in order to honor the past, um, you have to look at it and acknowledge it. And what, what did you do? You built championship level habits in the past. And those will go with you for the rest of your life. And that's how you build a legacy is to take those championship level habits and bring them into the future and pass them down to the next generation. And we really talked about how do we do that and what are those championship level um, habits. And we talked those through and we said, well, that's what we got to do tonight is execute those championship level habits. And I thought um, our team and our, our leaders that had been on last year's team really did that for us tonight. And obviously the first one of the year, but also your first career win. So congrats. Uh, just how's that feel? get that one out of the way it feels good but I'm very critical of myself so I would say there's a lot I still have to do better and help our team so that we can be um, at our best all the time and so I'm probably very critical it, while it feels good <laughs> to to get it and to for our team there's just still so much to learn and grow from um, so I think it's a both and for me <laughs> we're gonna see a shoe flip on the court now I mean you got the win with that or is that going to be a every game thing or? well sometimes I get a little animated you know I feel like I'm in my practice gear some days and uh you know tennis shoes but uh I thought it was a kickball and then I lost my shoe and there it went <laughs>